I just finished building the dried flower centerpiece. This is what I like, and this is what I don't like about this set. I like the compact size of the dried flower centerpiece which measures in at 40 centimeters in length. And I like the fact that it can either be displayed on a table or hung on a wall. I like the assortment of autumn colors that are included in the dried flower centerpiece. There is a wonderful variety of earthy fall colors and interesting details and textures throughout the display. The dried flower centerpiece includes various flowers, stalks, and foliage, which includes stalks of wheat which are made out of dark tan cracked eggshells, millet stalks are made out of tan technic gears, ladder cherries aka Chinese lanterns which are made out of pumpkins attached to the ends of whips and cosmos which are made out of three orange epaulets which are normally seen in Ninjago. I like the fact that you are given the option to turn the dried flower centerpiece into a wreath if you purchase three copies of the set. Since the dried flower piece can't be split into two sections, you are given a curved connector piece to help form the circle of the wreath. I don't like the fact that it's hard to get the petals of the large dark red jabura to be straight. A portion of the jabura is blocked by one of the flowers so it's difficult to create a perfect circle with the jabura petals. I like how they made the rose head which dominates this model because it was made out of the new shoulder pad pieces which was introduced in the spider-man construction figures and in this rows are cleverly overlapping wheel arches that are inside i like how we are given olive green christmas pine trees as part of the display as well i like the building experience of this set aside from some of the flowers there weren't any repetitive builds and it was very cool to construct this unique looking flower centerpiece so what do you like what do you don't like comment below let me know and we will see you all in the next video bye